ChatGPT app for Windows is finally here for all users, including the free users. When this was first launched, only the premium users could use it, but now it's available for everyone, including the free users. And it has voice conversation feature. You can download this from the Microsoft Store. Just go there and search for ChatGPT. And you can see I have already installed it. Once you install, open it, it will ask you to sign in. Yeah, rest, I think you know everything about it. I just wanna show you guys this, the voice conversation feature. This is actually one of the best features of ChatGPT or any AI chatbot right now. Even the Microsoft Copilot can do a voice conversation, which is pretty cool. We'll check that later. First, I'm gonna check this one. Hello, how are you doing? Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's your day going? Mine is also going good. That's awesome to hear. Anything exciting happening today or just a nice chill day? Just found out that ChatGPT for Windows is available for free users. So I just came here, just check it in. That's great. ChatGPT for Windows makes it super convenient to chat. You can just pop it open anytime. How are you finding it so far? So yeah, you can see it's pretty cool, all right? You can also change the voices by going into the settings and in speech and here you can select the different voices. So right now you can see it is set to Clove. Hi there, you can I just wanna share how thrilled. All right, so you can go with some other voices. Hey, what's up? Feel free to ask me about anything that's on your mind. I'm yeah. ready to go. This one is also a pretty cool voice. So you can do that and yeah, have conversation, rest, you know the rest, all right? So uh, let's try to create a image. I don't know if that's possible, but let's let's try it. <laughs> a dog uh, playing volleyball. Let's see how it does it. Oh yeah, it worked actually. <laughs> Look at that. He's making the shot. So yeah, that's the chat GPT for Windows. And you can actually access this quickly by pressing the alt and space and it will pop up the chat gpt window in the center just like start menu but i wish they had the shortcut to launch the voice conversation feature but yeah i mean maybe they'll add it in the future that's something that is missing in this window but you can click on this option which says open in main window you can click on that and it will open the full application so alt space and you can quickly you know uh, start a conversation or you can also attach you know file or take photo and then ask for the questions related to your uploaded file or document or whatever you have so yeah this is pretty cool and this is actually not a web app all right this is an actual you know windows application unlike the Microsoft Copilot. So now let's talk about the Microsoft Copilot because we need to. Uh, <laughs> there is one feature that has been added in this uh, AI chatbot now. The app itself still remains the web app. Okay, It's not a native Windows application and it's running through the Microsoft Edge. So yeah, it stays the same. <laughs> but now you'll see a mic button. This isn't like fresh new feature. This is something that wasn't available for everyone. Now it looks like it's available for everyone. You can use this feature, okay? Talk to Copilot. Let's click on that. Good morning, MRKB. I'm here. What's on your mind today? Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, it's not MRKB, it's Mr. KB. <laughs> Noted, Mr. KB. Thanks for the heads up. So what's next on your agenda today? Wow, that that voice is kind of, mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, it, it's it's like trying, someone actually trying to talk to you. It, it works differently. I don't know what to say. Let's change the voices actually. Oh, we have four voices to choose from. Good morning, from. MRKB. How can I make your morning a bit brighter? No, I don't understand. Can I have like a little bit better Hey, voice? MRKB. How's like treating you today? It doesn't sound super realistic, actually. Uh, it's not that, you know, it doesn't have the good voices like in ChatGPT or Gemini. Good morning, MRKB. What's the vibe today? How can I make this morning a bit brighter for you? Uh, uh, first, you need to correct my name. It's Mr. KB. Ah, got it. Mr. KB. My apologies for that. What's on your mind today? All right, let's be honest. This thing is kind of 
eh, it doesn't feel right the way it talks and maybe it's i don't know for me it feels a bit weird it's uh, it's too much for me i think i prefer the chat gpt or gemini actually yeah whatever i mean if you like it you can go with it <laughs> yeah we have the option and also the voices are kind of not that good uh, compared to chat gpt or gemini plus quality of the voice is also really bad new experiences can be pretty exciting anything in particular you're curious about trying so yeah i mean it's whatever <laughs> we have the feature but maybe it's not that good for voice conversation yeah, ChatGPT is just way better than this. Yeah, this is just my opinion. Yeah, uh, ChatGPT is good. Okay, plus it's not a web app. It's it's actual Windows application. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or you want to discuss something, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.